Hello again, welcome to part two. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida in, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard in case you're just tuning in. Look for the link to part one below the video and <coughs> I will share with you guys that I am, whoops, almost forgot to set my timer again. That's from the last video. I set my timer because my camera shuts off. So I have some beautiful colors and I like them enough but I want to add more. So I'm going to take my pour cup and I am just going to do exactly what I said. I'm going to grab the colors that I've already shaken up that I keep in bottles and I'm going to add a little more of that <coughs> white enamel, white satin enamel from uh, Deco Art Americana. And I don't know how far that's going to take me or how I'm going to be able to manipulate it, but I do want it to cover everything it's supposed to cover. I think it's time to bring an edge catcher into this scenario, which means I'm going to put that right down on my tile and be willing to put a fingerprint in the side of my canvas. I may have jumped the gun on my big pool of paint on the other side. But if I can get it all to go where I want it to go, I might be pretty happy about that. I'm going to let it go. Oh no! I'm going to let it roll down. So it won't be the exact thing I wanted, but it'll be close. I think I have to change. That's an interesting side. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and use my spatula and take all the color that I've got on it and put it right over the edge of the canvas. Usually I'd put it on the canvas and I kind of want to do that some more, but for right now that's going to work for me. Although I do want that edge catcher back. Now I can change this quite a bit by just adding bottles of color. And I will learn in time how to make my stripes what I want them. And I'm not minding what I've got at all. I really like it. And I'm going to save whatever I can on my edge catcher and use it again. Because that's my M.O. And it, it was especially helpful with getting the edge covered. I'm just going to let that keep pouring because I like the stripes that I see. And then I'm going to wipe that off. And it is coming out a little bit pastel because of the white enamel. I never did use my shovel, did I? Oh well. Time for another edge catcher, even if it's not the right length one. And turning this around having a look at it. So I think I need a whole bunch more paint. I don't know about you. And I've got some left from yesterday and I've got some left on this edge catcher. Look how cool that is on that edge catcher. Well I don't know if you can see all that but it's going right in that container instead of on my edge. Well maybe some should go on my edge. Let's just distribute some of that right on that edge. And then I'll put the rest in the container, scrape off my spatula, and what? Grab some more color that I like as long as I can. Now do I want it to go down this way? If I want it to go down that way, All right, here goes nothing. I kind of want to go the wrong way first. I can see stuff in there. And I've got tweezers somewhere, but 
that's got to go. And I don't mind the black edge. I put a black edge on something recently. I want to see if I need some copper in, in this mix because it seems to me I do. And maybe some more Prussian blue also. And since I still have a little bit of that, well, I'm going to use the Anita's me metallic instead. I should drag something through that just to mix it up just a little bit. Oh no, I really didn't want that in there. Well, now we got a little blue cloud, which is fine. <laughs> we'll let that go the wrong way first. And all the way back there. And then tip it down so it fills in the void and hopefully doesn't take too many things I like with it. It's not the easiest thing. I don't... I'm not trying to tell you it is. It's an acquired skill, but it's one I, I'm pleased to have. I can't really pour that off, and I want a little bit of green, and I had some left from yesterday, and I'm gonna grab my spatula, put that green right in there. then continue on with my project by using whatever's at my disposal. I really like that green. I think I'm going to just keep going. Not in the sky as much as that. Okay, so now we got land way over there. <laughs> land and mountains. And that's fine. Especially since this right here Wow, that was the fastest 20 minutes ever. I can't even believe that I set the timer correctly, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I'm going to grab a little bit of paint from right in here and give myself a cloud down there. And then I'm going to take my straw really quickly and hope, I, hope you remember everything I told you from last time because I'm going to be blowing on the straw for a minute. And using the rest of my paint right down here. And I sort of kind of got what I was looking for. We'll see in a minute how close I am, if I don't knock everything off. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio, wondering if I set my timer wrong. And you guys will see quite a bit of this, but I don't promise all of it. So as soon as that covers, and I am using my finger just on the bottom to lead the paint down. Then I'm going to tip it right back. So I think I mentioned I sell my artwork. Um, if you guys want to help me out, watching the video longer is basically the best possible thing you can do right after giving me a thumbs up or um, watching the commercials. Or sharing is really good. I appreciate sharing a lot. So I've got all kinds of neat stuff falling over my edges, which is great. I'm really, I'm appreciating that. I've got quite a bit of mess, but I'm not unhappy with it. I've got a couple places I might be blowing around. I think if I wanted to, I could use a basting brush in here or a chain. I got one minute left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is check out my Facebook groups, which are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More for Fine Art America Pixels.com Shop. Now will bring you to my 2000, 2013 since artwork and um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors. We have two books on the Amazon link. One is called Because I Can. The second one is called Unlimited Possibilities. Check the drawing out on the end screens in the last 20 seconds. If you're a contributor, you're looking for PayPal or Patreon. Underneath 
the video and on or my channel um, my channel notifications are hard to come by so bookmark my channel and check me out every day I post a video almost every day and um, I have teespring clothing under the video I love you guys dearly thank you so much for being here this will look similar but probably not exactly the same and um, I will see you more I'm not going anywhere I will see you guys more in 2020 No idea when the camera's going to stop, but I'm not going to stop until I uh, until I feel like it. Just changing up the patterns. If you guys are still here, that's my uh, that's my scape, my weird scape. I haven't put any little houses in there or anything yet. I'm not even sure I will. But if it happens, it'll be tomorrow. even put some more water over here or something else. I kind of want more copper. Don't ask me why. I've just squeezed a whole bunch of colors right into the bottom of that cup. Now I'm going to give them a brief stir. Pick the side I think the colors I want the most are going to come out of, which is basically backwards. All the other colors are moving kind of slow and that's a good thing. But I believe what I just put down is going to get covered with some other colors. Because I want it to be. So let me go the wrong way first. Let those gorgeous colors tip right over the side. Let's see if I can find some place to hold this up. Putting another layer in is what's making me happy. I'm just going to let, let that run straight down there. a small adjustment for a large one in this case. The bamboo skewer, hoping I don't mess anything up too terribly. But I'm liking what I've got. Now don't use any silicone and I do think that the white satin enamel puts cell, helps create cells. 
I did want some houses in this originally, and I'm not getting them. I'm just dipping into my cup. Assuming you might be here because I set the timer wrong. Still liking my little mountains at the back. I think they could be darker though. There, yeah, that's not bothering me. like I had a few waves on my shore. I've been liking black lately and I gotta be a lot careful of which black I choose because the top is not always open. I should stop and take a picture before it gets any more extreme. Now I don't know what that green is. It could be surreal trees or forest going up the mountainside. Might as well add some texture up there and see if it makes a difference. It's very, very strange talking to you guys as if you aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> 